Hi guys, it's me, Horse Girl Films, and in today's video, I am going to be going to a show. Today is actually the day before the show, and it's Friday, so I'm just getting Mr. Pippin here ready for the horse show. Um, I'm currently currently trying on saddle pad, and it's an all-purpose pad. I'm I'm not really sure if I want to use it or not. It would work, but I'm just going to try it with the half pad and see how that works. That's too bad. Um it does not fit at like at all with the half pad. It looks really stupid. Um so I think I'm going to go ahead and just hop on bareback and ride up and down the driveway. Um and then I'll come back up here clean tack and do all that stuff um and then i'll have to go home and prepare all of my stuff in the trailer and yeah got a lot to do mr pippin let's go probably gonna bring my phone so i can maybe film a little video all ready to just hop on i put his bridle on just because he hasn't been out today so i just don't want to hop on bear up and just a halter and be like Let's go, because, you know, I'm really not that brave. So, um, I have faith in Pippin, but I don't know if I have that much. Um, I'm a little bit sad because I'm missing a school dance tonight. It was going to be, like, neon-themed, and, like, all my friends are going. <sighs> but that's not going to happen. But hopefully I'll have a lot of fun at the horse show. I'm also just noticing there's, like, a piece of hair on the bridle path that I miss. So i got to fix it. So I sent my mom a picture of that saddle pad over there that I just tried on, Pippin, which didn't fit quite right because it's an all-purpose pad and I have a dressage saddle. My mom sent me a picture back of my um, white dressage pad, which she just put, like, um, she safety pinned a little John Stark thing because that's my equestrian team that I'm on. So that's, that's good. I can use a dressage pad and not... A pad that doesn't fit right. He's very sensitive about his withers um, with the pad. So, yeah, he's a sensitive old man. That's okay. I love him. Hi. Today's one of those days where I just wish I had a bareback pad because it'd be so much easier just to strap on him. Don't eat the cross ties. Um, and not get my butt covered in horse hair. But, um, I don't care. I am a horse girl. And I like horses, and Pippin is trying to eat me, and I don't care if my butt's covered in horse hair. I'm just going home, so. I'm actually pretty sure I've walked into, like, a grocery store multiple times when I've, like, ridden bareback in shedding season, and my butt is just, like, brown and covered in hair. So, let's go ahead and go for that ride. I apologize for the phone vertical, but um, I don't have a GoPro on me at the current moment. So you're going to deal with the shirt pocket POV. So peaceful. Just the birds and a pippin. Whoa, it's so muddy. I'm not an amazingly tall person. I'm actually on the short side <laughs> so i'm gonna have to get on with the mounting block i can get on with stirrups without the mounting block but not without stirrups bareback so that should be a dare video someone should dare me to get on bareback without stirrups pippin will probably like be really done with me he'll be like no Whoa, oh, you're walking. <laughs> Look at these fun poles. It's not what we're doing today. Please don't run.
to cool out. But that's pretty boring, so you don't want to watch me walk for five hours. <laughs> Welcome to today's episode of Helmet Hair Don't Care. Um, anyways, I have to go. Actually, I don't have to go very far. I have to clean some tack. So then I'll be in a while. Pippins finally caught his breath. Gave him a treat. I have swept the aisle away. Um, and I've gathered my stuff in a, a pile. It's not a pretty pile, but it's a pile. And now I'm going to quickly, as quick as I can, clean this saddle and this bridle. And then I have to skadoodle home, eat dinner, because it's my mom's birthday, so special dinner. Um, oh my god, there's a turkey in the muck pile. Whoa, Mamsel jumped. Well, I'm zoomed in. Hi. Look at that. Whoa, it is really hard to be zoomed in and not look like you're wiggling so much. Okay, I better like clean my tech. Oh, did it see me? I hope not. Okay, time to clean tech. Meet your baby in. Um, today I am going to be using some leather CPR. Um, I have a whole ton of tack cleaning, but since I just want to do one quick swipe, I'm going to use uh, leather CPR because this stuff is great. Um, I used this on saddles that were literally dead that I need to fix for some odd reason, um, which I've had a couple that I've had to use this on, uh, mainly the western saddle that I have because it was like sitting in an attic. Um, but... This stuff is great because it's just cleaner and conditioner, so you don't have to do too much. And it also really softens up the leather, so let's go ahead and get to this. Nine of three, and I am getting the last of my things ready. I just finished packing the trailer, and I'm planning on cleaning my boots in the car because it's gonna be a long ride there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my stuff ready. Um, I'm so excited. I'm like really nervous. I don't know. I'm like I'm very jittery. I'm like. So much pent up energy, I'm like gonna explode. Um, 
So yeah, I got to get all of my clothes ready. I currently have it like all on one hanger, just so I can see sort of if it would be enough layers for the cold spring weather. So I need to take it all off and set it on my bed so I can just get up in the morning and get dressed and skadoodle out at like 5.30 down to the barn and get Pippin. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. Also, I just want to say, I was at the barn alone and I was cleaning tack. And I had one of the do not eat things in my pocket of my jacket because it's brand new. Um, so I was at the barn alone and there hadn't been a person at the barn for about an hour, probably 45 minutes, I don't know. And so it's just me at the barn and I wasn't expecting anyone to be there. So I'm in the barn, I'm cleaning myself. I keep reiterating myself, I'm, I apologize. And I heard the door open of one of the stalls and I'm like, I didn't know anybody was here. So I was kinda like, huh? So I looked around and the horse next to Pippin, he's just like a little four year old, had opened his stall door and was about to escape and I was so confused because they have little pins in the door and you can't like a horse can't reach his nose out and take it out his owner who had just left like an hour ago um, had obviously left forgotten to put the pin back in the stall door because other I'm glad I was there because that little cheeky pony would have just walked right out um so I'm glad I was there but yeah that was interesting.
um, there was an accident in one of the arenas. Um, I was finished with my tests and stuff anyways, um, but that was interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. I wear my helmet crooked, it's a little bit weird. Um, my dressage test went really well. He's never really done very well at a horse show before, except for the ones that are like at the barn we ride at. So I'm really proud of him. The stretchy circle is really bad, and I'm probably just gonna put some of the good parts of our test in the video, but I'll probably upload a full video of our test today, later, sometime, I don't know. Um, yeah, Pippin was a very good boy. Um, he was scared, there was a giant puddle on the side. Um, it also started pouring and he refused to go on the trailer and then he cut his leg on something. So I had to clean that up. So yeah, it's been very interesting. I'm still waiting. There's still, I think they're still on walk trot. Test B. So, um, I won't be riding for a while. And I have to do games and stuff. But you know, yeah. Very, very interesting. thunderstorm underway. I'm in the chair of Pippin and he's freaking out. It's all good. Pippin. Shh. It is pouring. If you can even hear me making this video, it is pouring and it's thunder and the show's been canceled midway through. And I only got to do one class. And they said something about double judging something. so that was a very interesting horse show to uh, say the least but um I'm just going to try to explain what happened so um in the morning we got there and I was pretty calm and then all of a sudden I realized I'd forgotten my first test but I think it was just because I was really nervous because I got it right back, um, and then, um, I heard one of the riders before me get called, and I got really nervous, because I was like, I haven't warmed up, and, like, the rider before the rider before me is already going in, but then it turns out she was going to jumping, and, yeah, so I got really nervous for no reason. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I warmed up for, like, a really long time. And then I realized, because the dressages were going by really fast, but it was just walk trot. So then eventually they started doing um, walk trot canter tests. And I got off Pippin, let him eat some stuff, and then... I went back and did my test, and he was so good. He was a little feisty in the warm-up ring, but it was probably because there was a bunch of other horses and stuff. Um, but he did really good for his first horse show trailering out in, like, a really long time. So I'm really proud of him. Um, we could have done a lot better in the um, stretchy circle. It Like, he wasn't even stretching 
I just had loose reins and I was out of control. That's that's what was going on. And he was also scared of a puddle on the side of the ring, which I don't know if you can notice in the video, but he was he he kept looking at it. He was like, <gasps> and I was like, you're fine. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, my first canter transition, it took him a little while. I think I might have picked it up just in the nick of time or a little bit too late. But other than that, um, I really had a fun time with that test. Um, and he was a really good boy. So, now, let's talk about what happened after that test. So, after that test, um, I went back and, uh... I let, I took his bridle off, and I just, we just kind of hung out for, I was planning on hanging out for like, I don't know, an hour before my next test. Well, then it started, this start, started raining, I think, maybe, I don't remember when it started raining, but it, I think it started raining, so I covered up my saddle. And then I had to put his cooler on to keep him drier. Because um, we tried to put him in the trailer, but then he freaked out. And he actually cut his foot on something. Because he was banging his legs on the trailer. And he hates the trailer. So we had to take him out and he had to sit in the rain. Um, so sometime along then, um, I was with my mom and we were going to see who was in the ring and they're actually still doing the tests that I'd done. So they were a little bit behind schedule, I'm pretty sure. And uh, my mom went to the bathroom and I started heading back and I was almost all the way back when they yelled and like, is there any medical professionals on like grounds proceed to arena three? Um, so I was like, oh, so I started running. I was like, dad, help. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. Um, also, if I sound funny, I'm losing my voice, so. Um, so, he went and did that, and I just hung out with Pippin, and then it started pouring, like, a while after that. A lot of sitting in between here, guys. Um, it started pouring, and then we kept hearing, like, th actually, before it started pouring, there was, like, a point where it was pouring, and then it stopped, and then it was sunny, and I was like, oh, yes, and then we started hearing thunder, and I was like, oh, great, so, um, that was, yeah, it was interesting, they had to cancel the show, they were like, we're gonna wait up to an hour, and then they were like, the show's canceled, um, which was a little bit depressing, but, um, anyways, it, it was so stupid, though, as there's, like, thunder and lightning, there were people, like, taking down their metal tents, and I'm like, you're literally gonna get electrocuted, like, what are you doing? So, you know, it's fine, um, but I got to see my old instructor, which was really nice, um, yeah, it was fun, it was a lot of fun, I had a lot of fun, even if it got canceled in the middle, I only got to one of my classes, but I think Pippin enjoyed himself as much as he can at a horse show because I really don't actually think he really enjoys horse shows that much. Once I'm riding him, he's okay, but trailering and stuff, he hates it. Um, and also, if he has no friends, like, near him at the moment, when he's, like, tied up to the trailer, he'll flip out. So, he's a very sensitive little pony. But, anyways, that was today was very interesting um I'm like really gross and wet and soggy I'm gonna go take a shower put some sweatpants on and edit this video and then upload it I'm very excited for the next horse show um hopefully it'll go better than this one did but hopefully my test will be similar also I don't actually know what my results were for the test because they never like handed them out or anything because it just sort of got stopped so I don't really know how it works on a regular day anyways so yeah hopefully the next show it won't like rain and pour and be thundering 
yes. I will see you in the next video. Um, stay hers crazy. Bye.